Is Logic really missing a dynamic EQ? Why can I not isolate just the low end in the, the sidechain compressor, for example? Why, oh why, oh why? Maybe there is a solution. Let's find out together. Welcome to my channel once again. My name is Laurent aka Airwave hailing from Brussels, Belgium, capital of Europe. And um, in this logic tutorial, I would like to show you a technique that is super simple to actually dynamic EQ some tracks of yours. So let's take an example like the kick and bass. That's probably the most obvious example you can <laughs> can think of and um, you want to hear just the high frequencies of the bass well when the kicks actually comes in yet you might think it's not possible in logic because logic doesn't feature a dynamic eq but it has a better option and that is fat effects let me show you this Something like that. Let's check with the metronome just for... Okay, now I'm gonna take the sub bass. So the other option is the sidechain compression. That's something that you do here with the same sidechain. Like this, like that. And uh, I like the vintage FET uh, circuit for that. So you see the entire volume is docked by the kick drum. That works. Okay, no problem. What if I want to keep, let's say, the, uh, the high end because I'm adding here something like um, a space designer with a very special something here at 120 BPM like this. For example, or something See, there is a, a bit of mid, mid and high frequency in there. Well, what happens is that's the compressor, okay? So the volume goes away. Well, this is not what you want. You want a dynamic EQ on the low end. And I found a way with the fat effects. And this one uh, will leave you speechless. You see there is this thing here. You have the reject mix. The way you you set it up is very simple. The side chain source is of course the kick bus, okay? The band pass you can put it to a classic or smooth. I, I, I set it to smooth just for the purpose of, of this example here. And uh, the low end here, this is your remaining sound, okay? And if you do this, you have the original signal, the low and the high end. If I do this, the reject mix is ignored and the signal begins at 339 hertz, hertz obviously. So if I do this, if I use the envelope follower, that responds to the impulse from the kick bus here. And I add a little bit here. And of course, I set the, a minor depth to ma a maximum of minus 100%, but I would, I would say minus 70, min minus 60% is perfect. Here's what happens. Let's play it together.
That's the magic. You see, so the fat effects can be used for that purpose. It's not a perfect trick, but it works. And uh, you can isolate the low end of your, um, of your kick drum and your bass and just focus on the low end and not the high end. Very spe uh, specifically, if you work in rock music, where uh, the, the bass line has a lot more content, harmonic content, or if you have like very, um, very harsh bass lines in genres such as uh, dubstep or drum and bass, well, this trick might come in handy. Thanks for watching this video. If you, if you would like more content like this, please hit the subscribe button and leave me a blue thumb. That would be awesome. Uh, thanks for your time once again and see you in a future video about logic.